Welcome to the David Wafula YouTube channel, the official home of politics, where we cover policy, war, cataclysmic world events, and traverse territory that our peers fear to tread upon. You know, when we were children and our mother was cooking chapati, then suddenly the lights go out. That was the best moment to go and steal food in the kitchen because nobody can see you under the cover of darkness. And even here in Kenya, it seems someone is playing games with this country under the cover of darkness. Why are we having two blackouts in the space of one year within the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport? Is somebody trying to steal or smuggle something out of the country under the cover of darkness? Or is it just downright incompetence? That's what I want us to look into in this particular video. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, if you haven't seen what the scenes look like at JKIA, here's the tip. Life in... So what exactly is the reason behind this blackout and why especially at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport? Number one, there has been some rumors by some people like Robert Alai who are claiming that the government was waiting for the cover of darkness to smuggle dollars outside the country. the tweet from a lie and i quote time to smuggle some u.s dollars out of the country crooks are destroying this country that is a statement from one of the prominent azimio influencers robert a lie although to me that is more of hocus pocus assessment because the national government of any republic that you can think of can and is authorized to operate freely without necessarily resorting to such extreme measures but who is to say that something sensitive did not make its way into or out of the country during those few minutes of total darkness such are the rumors that fly around when the breeding ground for it is watered by such mishaps now the second issue behind this power blackout which will be my best bet is incompetent according to jkia they experienced a power blackout because of power outages from a national grid and we all agree that it is normal and understandable however the backup generator ought to spring into life immediately but in this case it took a whopping 20 minutes long enough for a lie to start claiming dollars were being smuggled out of the country as if there's any added advantage from that so the truth is that the backup generator failed And so it's either they bought generators that are no good or they have engineers that are no good either way here's what kenyans on x had to say about this and i quote A guy called Don put out a tweet saying this is him right now on the JK blackout after he said he will sort out the mess. So he put this video in reference to CS Murkom. <laughs> Let me play you the tape. I'm going to find a cousin. Failure. Kulo Conrad said, the last time we experienced power blackout, Murkomen ran to JKA, fired the KCAA boss and swore to never again have JKA in total darkness. He even initiated plans to have a backup generator. So many weeks later, JKA can be mistaken for some cave. There is no country here. Jegugu said, for 10 years of President Uru Kenyatta, we never experienced what we are seeing in this country. At a blackout at JKA again, there must be something wrong with UDA leadership. And Omwamba said, Yani JKA is also in total power 
power blackout again. I thought they learned last time. Yani JKA fully depends on Kenya power. No backup generators. Where are we headed as a country with Kenya power? We don't learn. Where's Kipchumba Murkomen? Well, that's it from the folks on X. Do let me know in the comment section below what you think about the power blackout in JKA. Is it a matter of incompetence or is it that they were actually smuggling something in or out of the country? I'll do my best to read your comment and to give you a response. And in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.